What's up? Welcome to One Little Coder. Today we're going to talk about stable diffusion TensorFlow. Divyam Gupta, who also created the one-click installer for M1 Mac for stable diffusion, recently came up with stable diffusion for TensorFlow or stable diffusion that is powered by TensorFlow. What Divyam has done is Divyam has ported the pre-trained models from PyTorch implementation to TensorFlow and now it is available for us to use TensorFlow. Uh, how does it matter to you if you do not care about whether it is PyTorch or TensorFlow? I was told um, and I also read a couple of comments that uh, because now it powers, it is powered by TensorFlow, there is some performance improvement. That It doesn't mean that TensorFlow always has performance improvement. I'm not trying to make any statement. Please, please do not drag me into any flame wash between PyTorch versus TensorFlow. But the point here is that this is faster than what you would see typically on a stable diffusion demo on Google Colab. So that's one thing that for you to keep in mind. So now what we are going to do in this video is we are going to use the Google Colab notebook shared by Divyam and I'm going to take you through how you can use this Python library or module or repository project stable diffusion TensorFlow to create your own stable diffusion images using Google Colab. Also, it comes with a Gradio demo that Divyam has kindly included. So all credit goes to Divyam. I've just modified certain bits and pieces here and uh, I'm going to explain you how to do this if you want to do this. So if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. 90% of subscribers, 90% of viewers are not subscribers. So subscribing to the channel would mean a lot to me. Let's get started. This Google Collab notebook will be in the YouTube description. All you have to do is click it and then open it. After you open it, you would see an option saying save a copy in the drive that will make sure that you have the latest version of Google Collab saved in your own Google Drive so that even if I make any changes, you would not be affected by those changes. The next thing that you need to check is you need to go to click runtime click change runtime and see if you have got GPU accelerator. This requires GPU. GPU will make inference or image generation faster. So make sure you have got GPU. Now getting into the main part. The first thing is this model is not available on PyPy or anywhere. So you have to upload it directly from Git. So right now I'm installing um, a different version, which is um, which has more performance improvement, but you can also install the version from Divium. So bottom line is just run this particular line of code that will install all the required libraries once that is done that takes a little bit of time once that is done now you can download the model and when you run this line of library uh, sorry this line of code from stable diffusion underscore tf dot stable diffusion two things are imported get model text to image once that is done the first thing that you have to do is you have to download the model I've tried with a larger version of model, even when the model is getting downloaded, I'm not able to run this on Google Colab because it hits out of um, out of memory error. So if you've got a different GPU, you can try larger resolutions or larger size, but right now I'm sticking to 512 by 512. So text encoder, diffusion model, decoder, all these things are getting downloaded and you can even see from where this is getting downloaded at this point. So you can see all these things getting downloaded. The decoder, text encoder, diffusion model and clip. Once all the required things are downloaded, you have two ways how you can use this code. The first way is a simple Python usage, simple Python usage where you have to say that uh, you need you need image from pillow that's just to display the image. You can say text to image and then you can give the prompt like what I've done here, a beautiful digital work of a dragon made from clouds by Izzo Andrews and Peter Murabaker trading on art station image height 512 image width 512 text encoder text encoder diffusion model diffusion model decoder is equal to decoder and what's the batch size and you can just display the final image so if i run this i'm going to run this live um, while i'm recording this video without editing so you get to see actually how long this one takes run this once you run this you can see that uh, it would ideally take probably about 25 seconds um, it might take more than 25 seconds. It's it's not necessarily very strictly exact time that it shows. Maybe when, when you get the video published, you can see. But it is good that it takes less than 30 seconds and then you are able to generate stable diffusion images. So what are we trying to generate here? A digital artwork of a dragon that looks like it's made from clouds. And let's see what is going to happen. Um, it's more than 25 seconds, I would say. And here is the image. Uh, I absolutely love this image. 
so almost looks like you know this is dra this is cloud and this is dragon and it looks beautiful so all you need is just a couple of lines of python code to use stable diffusion this is right like quite the state of the art at this moment i mean there is i would say there is nothing like stable diffusion in the open source at least at this point so you can just in bunch of lines of python code you can run stable diffusion on google collab for free um using tensorflow as the backend so this is quite amazing this is if you want to use the python code for example you want to integrate it with streamlit you want to integrate it with plotly dash you want to use it as a cli you want to do something you can do this but on the other hand you want to use a gradio application and like i said this is a code the vm has shared to generate the gradio application gradio application gives you a web ui user interface where you can just go ahead and then give the prompt and then it will create the image that you want for this we need to import import numpy as np import gradio as gr and first we need a function that function is going to be something that what we did here almost you need to take a prompt you need to take height and weight width sorry width and then certain things if you want more so what we are collecting here is input input image uh, sorry image height image width which can be pretty standard as well and then the number of steps so i might modify this uh, to say that you know i don't want to collect input image height and width from the user i want to just give 512 by 512 i can do that so i'm sticking back to the same thing so height width number of steps and then you have the prompt input which is here so after you have all these things all you have to do is the same function the same thing text to image prompt input image height image width text encoder diffusion model decoder batch size and also the number of steps like the larger the steps and um, the better the image would be and then you take the image and then return it back to this so now this gradio does not use gradio interface rather it uses the latest api which is gradio blocks so now with gradio blocks as demo the first thing is you need to have the title this is the title Right now it doesn't look like a title tag because we have used it without let me copy this we have used it without hashtag one which is h1 the next thing is you are going to create a tab and what is a tab name the tab name is text to image for example tomorrow if you have got image to image or you have got um, in painting anything you can add that as more tabs that is grade your tab and after that you are going to create a row and inside that row you are going to say i want prompt input i want image height image width number of steps everything is added inside as a text box with certain default values and then finally in the right hand side you are going to show inside the row you are going to also show the image output that is the image that has been returned from your the function and then finally you have got a button that says generate the image or you can call it anything generate um, image generate image or you can keep generate and then finally you are saying that if the image button is clicked then call the function image prompt these are the inputs this is the output launch the gradient demo so i can just rerun it and then show you how long it takes for it to for it to run uh, it would take a couple of seconds and uh, you can see that uh, this link would be active for a certain number of hours in this case it says 72 hours for this link to be active you need to keep your google collab notebook active um, that's a catch and you can see the stable diffusion tensorflow demo you can see the prompt image height image width the number of steps and i'm going to give the same prompt that i gave uh, a portrait of a sincere looking indian girl girl oil on canvas man blah, 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 something that i copied from lexica.art so i'm going to just click generate and then you can see how many seconds it takes in the last time that i tried it took about 30 seconds let's see how long it takes it also depends upon the kind of gpu that you've got uh, I guess most likely I would have got a Tesla T4 machine but if you are getting by luck anything else then it might differ. If you want to run this on your own GPU um, the steps are as same as uh, what we saw. The first thing that you need to do is you need to install the required libraries and then you just need to run this particular lab. Oh this is amazing. This is actually quite beautiful um, and this is this is um, this is developed by Gradio, uh, sorry, this is developed by Stable Diffusion for the prompt that I give. Now it says 28 seconds, um, it, it might take a little bit more than that as well from my previous experience. All you have to do is download, run this and then this would work completely fine as far as I know on uh, your local machine. The only thing that you might have to do extra on your local machine is you might have to also install 
um, you might also have to install tensorflow the first thing is do tensorflow and then, then install this if you do not have it so this is another image and then you can literally go to lexica.art lexica.art uh, search for anything like for example this looks nice um hendrik house face is amazing how to copy it come back here paste oops copy it come back here paste it run it and then see how it looks that's it um so you would have a working demo of stable diffusion powered by tensorflow running on your google collab even with a web ui you powered by gradio and all these are completely for free so that's that's a good part about it so make sure that you give a shout out to uh, divyam gupta wherever you share this or use this give a start to the repository um, give a shout out on twitter and also share the pictures that you create like let's see what it turns out to be oh this this looks nice i don't know i don't know if it looks like henry cavill i know for, for, for me somehow it looks like working phoenix but whoever it is um, it looks nice and uh, that's that's the end of I, this is still my favorite that's the end of this tutorial any questions let me know in the comment section otherwise i hope this tutorial was useful to you i'll see you in another python tutorial